Yay! <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Woo-wee. It's another we big party day. Dramage toi. Dramage toi. I thought it was Can Dramage you explain? Tu- Dramage Tilly. It is Dramage Tilly. You can't even say it. How Tilly. do we explain Tilly. it? Chuck Tilly is our guest today. Yay, Woo. Chuck. For those of you who don't know who Chuck Tilly is and how oh, could you not know who they Chuck will Tilly know. is? They will know by the time this is done. He has quite the pedigree. We're going to get him on the couch. Ooh. Roll those opening credits. da 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 He just on my face. quits and leaves in the middle it's of the right. segment. But now uh, we're back. Molly <laughs> just about walked out. Almost. He's had enough. He's, he he Dramage a toi. He doesn't we, know if he can party like Chuck we, Tilly. We've adjusted his contract. But we have our party clothes on. Got his extension. Just for Tilly. It's party time. Party, party Tilly. Man, party man. Woo. So we all look completely ridiculous. And that's, yeah. that's cool. Because that's pretty normal. Well, that's pretty normal for us. Hey, we yeah. had a good time last week though, huh? Sure did. Little Jody Harris. Sure yeah, did. Oh, Jojo. Man, that guy. He sang the fire out of that song. Shh. Yes, he did. Why did we sing it? I don't know. Why, why doesn't he just do I still, it? I'm still partial to our version, though. Yeah, well, you... Okay. I didn't like the drums on Jody's version. I couldn't <laughs> hear him. A terrible mix. <laughs> <laughs> Producer should be fired. Yeah. <laughs> What the? It's it's unfortunate that the people didn't get to see the second song that he did for us. Cause it was really good. They didn't. No, they didn't. Oh, yeah, bummer. Cutting room floor. Darn. Hmm? That was some good stuff. Story yeah. of Jody's life. That's right. That's right. <laughs> anyway, what what's up for this week here? What do we got going on? Man, somebody. Uh, there was a Jackson Forest sighting. What? There was. Yes. Somebody saw him. At, he's like the the elusive star. Nobody ever gets to see him. He never goes out and plays. Yeah, oh. I bet it was at the mall, wasn't it? It was at the mall. The exactly. Red, yeah. Somebody saw him. It was like, you know, he just kind of dashed in between. He's like Jack Squatch. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You seen his legs? <laughs> Boy does have some hairy legs. I tell you. I tell you. I don't know where they came from. I mean, I thought I did. But... No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Which is amazing. I mean. I think my arms don't do him, but They're, that's pretty close. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean that's just a Monty's rough. Angora sweater that right. he wears with him all the time. You wonder why I sweat so much. Did you also see Blaylock's Crazy California report last week? You know, I, I, I have no, I have I've missed it. About the gas tax and stuff out there. Uh, well, don't buy gas in California. It's it's only going to go. <laughs> it's only going to go higher. It's only going to go higher. Yeah. Of course. Well. Somebody's somebody's got to pay for all their BS. So I wouldn't be surprised if it'd be up around ten bucks someday. It's a matter of time. Gee, that's all. Man, every time I start to complain about things out here in Tennessee, he calls me. I call. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jim, remind me. Okay, thank you. Thank and the you. traffic out here, Tennessee's growing so crazy, and traffic is so bad, and you're thinking. Man, this is awful. And then you take a run out there, and you're like, "Oh wait, no, we we don't we don't have traffic." Yeah, this is only four lanes that are stopped. I mean, out there it's ten lanes that are completely stopped. You won't call me and say, "Make me feel good about Tennessee," and I'll say, "You're not in Mississippi." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Mississippi. That that's the home of our Southern Halo friends. Yes, yes, yes. 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 But you notice they're so, from. Mississippi. From Mississippi, yes. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like Fresno. Most people are from Fresno. Going out. They're leaving. <laughs> going out into the world. It's got to uh, be better somewhere right. else. Maybe at some point we can get those Southern Halos on here, but I don't know. They, they might look at this and go, there ain't no way I'm getting on a show with you bunch. They do have a great new song out. I do. Yes, they, they do. do. Yes, they I do. like it. I like yeah. it a lot. Yeah, no. They might be a little highbrow for us. They might be. Possibly. But if they do, maybe we can get some of their Pink Flamingo uh, pool koozie. They're, they're <laughs> certainly way better. We always have to bottom feed, you know, with yeah. our guests. Right. Like, you like know, today. Chuck, Chuck Tilly. Chuck Tilly. Talk about bottom feed. <laughs> yes. Hopefully yes. he'll bring his, his blender. We'll have margaritas here and, and the party will continue. It's margarita time with Chuck Tilly. We'll be back right after this. You're my one temptation. The one I can't refuse. I want. We're back. back. 
Chuck Tilly's here. Party time. Chop down Tilly in the house. That's right. That's right. Oh, my God. The the leader of this dramatoire. How you doing, Mr. Tilly? I'm doing great. You look Uh, great. Well, thank you. You too. You too. It's it's good to be here. I... um, yeah, I'm not even the best drummer in the room. Yeah. <laughs> well, it ain't me. Uh, without you a drum, I do uh, not. Well, it must be Ellie. Let me tell you a little something about this guy. If you've watched the Nashville uh, TV series, you saw this man here for mm-hmm. sure. He was you yeah. were in Raina's band, correct? Yes, we were in. I was in Raina's band all six seasons. All six seasons, starting with the pilot episode and all the way to the final, the finale. Mm. Chuck was he was bringing the heat and the looks to Nashville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He, he he got a whole fan club behind him saying, you know, we want more. We want the drummer to have more airtime. I remember that. I was, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now <laughs> they canceled that show. Hang on here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got more airtime than canceled. They canceled me there. <laughs> yeah. Careful so, what you ask for. Okay, yeah. now you guys need to pay attention to this cuz this is pretty stupid. This <laughs> This list Imagine. here that I'm going to read about. These are the people that Mr. Tilly has either recorded with or played with. And mm. still plays with. Starting mm. with... A lot of me still works with. I mean, Dolly. 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 First and foremost. I mean, you can stop there, but yeah. no. It goes on. <laughs> Richard Marks. Mm. Hugh Jackman. Wolverine. Mm, yeah. Really? Alice Cooper. <laughs> Ooh, he's awesome. That is pretty cool. Don Felder from The Eagles. Yep. I mean... Don. Boy, one of my guitar idols. And, oh gosh, we've just begun, folks. Cliff Richard. Olivia Newton-John. No! Yes. Who I still have a crush on. Oh! That, we all do. Yeah, we all who do. doesn't? Who doesn't? D- Delbert McClinton. Cool. Yeah, man. Al Jarreau. Some fly by night. <laughs> um, wow, nice. Kenny Rogers. What? Mm. Michael McDonald. <laughs> Come on. Michael Bolton. Come on. Vince Gill. Billy Squire. Felix Cav- Cavallari from the Rascals. The Rascals yeah. Steve Cropper. Mike Mills from R.E.M. Steve Algieri from Journey. Mark mm. McGrath, Mr. Sugar Ray. Mm. Matt Scannell from Vertical Horizon. He's everything you want. Love that song. Mm, yeah. Emerson Hart from Tonic. Yep. If you could only see the... <laughs> Chris Daughtry. No. Oh, he's great. Daughtry. Lee Nash from Sixpence, None the Richer. Oh, I love her. Ooh, Lee's got my he's heart. He's a sweetie. Fee Waybill from The Tubes. Mm, That's cool. Yeah. Peter Frampton. Shh. Mm. Brenda Lee. Uh, Little Miss Dynamite. <laughs> the Mighty Porter Wagner. No. Funny, funny man. Gretchen Wilson. She's an incredible hey, rock oh, yeah. singer, too. Oh, yeah. As you yeah, will. Yeah, she's a, that, that's okay. yeah, that's our lavalier. Oh. <laughs> Dina Carter, Strawberry Wine. Oh, yeah, oh. She's awesome. And the one and only Miss Carrie Underwood. Mm. All of them. That's All him right there. They would be nothing without this man. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this happen, Chuck? I mean, how do you how do you how does this happen? It's, that list is a a list that spans you know, 25, 30 years. Right, but listen to this. And I could be in the business 100 years and not play with half these people. Yeah. <laughs> Even one yeah. of them. Yeah. Even one of them. Well, I, I've been lucky and blessed enough to be put in situations where I was in the house band for a lot of different situations, whether, whether it be an award show or a big uh, multi-artist special event show where we would back up three or four big stars on the same thing. Or a lot of times, Richard Marks, in his tour, he would have special guests join him for like TV specials or, or special shows. And it might be a Libby Newton-John or Kenny or, or Hugh Jackman. Um, and so it was situ- a, lot of them, a lot of them were situations like that where you, where you, only, where you play with them just a, you know, a few times and whatnot. But um, I've just been lucky enough to be in those situations from and just many you know just over the years well, many, many numerous times and and, lucky, certain, and certain, you know lucky certain, you know i mean you can say it because i mean you know if you didn't have the goods if you could not deliver the goods oh, yeah. you would not have been in those situations so Very true. there's a tremendous amount of skill involved don't sell your don't well, don't be all shucks on us mr Tilly. no i, no, yeah, oh, I, I appreciate man. that yeah it just um 
It, yeah, it, it's and it was in other situations where where, I, where I'd be like in the house band for Nashville Star or some other TV shows where we had a lot of guest stars, and um, so that was a situation that was kind of built in where you had each episode you had a different big star come in like you know Kenny Rogers or or Gretchen or Jamie O'Neill or like Nashville Star we had guest stars almost every week you know and I did that for thirty episodes three seasons. And so we got to play with a lot of people on that, cool. on that show. And uh, what, what was really cool, Kenny Rogers, just to say one thing about him, to tell you how cool Kenny is. I've worked with him on many different situations, you know, e- either recording or several different live situations. And after the first time I met him, it was several years later, he came to do Nashville Star. And he had remembered meeting me and remembered a conversation we had had two or three years prior and so then flash forward another year or two, um, Richard Marks has Kenny come in to do a, uh, a special charity show. And he looks at me and he goes, hey, man, how you doing? He goes, last time I saw you was on uh, Nashville Star. That's like, awesome. It's like, That's incredible. And, and he, he goes, and we were just talking about stuff and like he could not be nicer, just total pro. And, um, but every time I would run into him, you know, he would always remember me. And then I saw him on a music cruise two years after that, you know, at the one we were on yes. with Alabama. Yes. You know, ran into him and same deal. You know, he just, he just, just a sweetheart, remembers people, total pro, has perfect time and tempo. He knows exactly where his songs are. There'd be little bitty 16th note pushes and little, little bitty small little details. And, and I would play them because I had written out the songs note for note. And he would look back and go, you know, like, yeah. like, like, like I saw that you caught that. You yeah, know? Like, yeah, yeah. He really knows, really well, knows it, his music. And it's, it's so funny because, I mean, you know, as musicians like to say, you know, or artists wannabes, you, yeah. you know, who, you know, it, those guys that are there, like the Kenny Arts and stuff, the ones that have to, they have they achieve their success for some for some reason, you oh, know. Yeah. There, and, oh, and, yeah. and it's little stuff like you know, how many drummers has he played with? Think about it. Over, oh, and I how many know. good drummers has he played with over oh, the years? A lot of big and ones. to remember, you, yeah. you, you, I mean, you are pretty memorable. <laughs> but, but, but I mean, to remember the the little things like that, you know, that's what separates those guys. Uh, oh yeah, I, absolutely. And, yeah, I mean, and and a lot of them are like that. A lot of them who are the true. You know, remember, Kenny was a bass player and musician who played in in the first edition before he was the front man you know big star guy right, right. so he he knows his instrument and everything but uh, a lot of people are like that uh you know people like vince gill or richard oh, yeah. marks or dolly right. or um the ones who are, are who are very knowledgeable about music sure and and they and they know the music really well and uh so it's always um it's always a joy to work with people like that who can tell you what they want musically speaking and, and, and who speak the language and can tell the guitar player or the bass player or even the drummer. They can speak drumming. They can speak, <laughs> they can speak the language, which we know is a whole separate language a lot of times than, than the other guys on stage. Well, and so all I know um, is this is a whole list of people I'll never work with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we are just stoked to have Chuck here today. And, um, man, Thank you for, for, for being here with us. Oh, that was great to we be here. We take a break. We will be right back with more Check Tilly on the catch. Yay! <laughs> what about these guys? Give it up for my friends in Six Wire, the greatest band in the world. Best band in the world. And the best bands in the world right here. The only other band I ever worked with that worked this hard was James Brown. I'll tell you what, this is the best band in rock and roll right here. You're witnessing one of the greatest bands you'll ever hear, ever. Hey, what do you think of Six Wire? Come on. Forget about it. This awesome band behind you, Six Wire. Can't say enough about Six Wire. The band is Six Wire. Six Wire. Six Wire. Six Wire. So please, give it up for Six Wire. We're back with Mr. Chuck Tilly, folks. Stop, sit down. <laughs> so, um, let's talk about Six Wire. Do we have to? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I mean, this this was the house band for the NFL draft. <laughs> yes, come on, man. Come on. And I still didn't get drafted. <laughs> and the house band for the Predators. 
the yes. the small time rock stars. Yeah, uh, our trio, our our little rock trio within Six Wire, within Six Wire. is is the house band for the Preds. Um, most of it. We don't do every game, but we do all the big games and all the playoffs and all that stuff. We've been doing that a long time too. You do the the Patrick Warburton. Yes, the Patrick Warburton Celebrity Music and Golf Event. And I like that. It's guy. our tenth year. Tenth year. And they've wow. raised they've raised over ten million dollars for St. Jude's off St. Jude's all these years. So we're very we're proud, proud to be a part of that. That's a yeah. big big deal to us. You, you we, realize about you know five six years ago you told me that there was a chance that I'd be playing that gig. Yeah. Yeah, but that day. Well, what, what's Mandel doing? He needs to quit. He's got a wife at home. He needs to go take care of her. <laughs> he said <laughs> chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, and there's still a chance. And there's still a chance. <laughs> I think that was the year I was trying to get a, a one or two certain artists that we were trying to oh, recruit yeah. that year. That's why. That's not on me. That's I, why that didn't happen. I always see the pictures. I'm always saying, that you it never looks know. like such a fun day. I mean. Let Let me say one thing about that, about the Warburton. It's an event that started 10 years ago. And what it is, is it's it's a golf tournament and three three huge nights of music but but the 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 primary night being what they call jam night and it's not a jam it's a rehearsed show sure sure but it's we what it is is six wires of the house band we back up everybody and it's usually 12 or 13 big guest stars uh rock stars in in, in any given year we could have michael mcdonald you know michael bolton alice cooper is usually there mike mills from rem kevin cronin from reo steve algeri from journey i mean the list is this long and they each come out and do three or four of their hits every song is a number one or top five smash hit that you know you know john alfante from oh, mickey thomas Kansas. Too. yeah oh mickey thomas oh. Hugh, huey lewis i mean michael <laughs> mcdonald it's it's just they, crazy you talk about it's them, like. insane yeah huey yeah. uh oh. Uh, you know, um, of course, Daughtry uh, this year, um, and we've had all, all these people, and they all donate their time, and and Alice is like one of the ringleaders. He recruits all these people and gets them to come in and play with us. You know, speaking so of we, Alice, though, you know, Alice how Cooper. Would you say you know? no to him. Yeah. Alice Cooper calls you it, up. It, yeah. Exactly. I need yeah. you to be here. You go. All you, right. You also <laughs> exactly. You guys also play his Christmas. And, and so what? Too, right. right. So what happened there? Year, a few several years ago, Alice has a big event that he does every December in Phoenix. And it's the same deal. He invites all his rock star friends. He has our band. We're the house band. We back up everybody. So like a couple of years ago, we had Edgar Winter, and I got to do the drum battle with Edgar Winter. Yeah. You know, on Frankenstein. You know, yeah. I'm playing that. You know, and, and then uh, and we had Ace Fraley that year. We've had the guys from Blue Oyster Cult. Of course, Gretchen Wilson came in and did a couple of her hits, and then sang. Saying uh, Zeppelin and Heart, sure. you know, she's an unbelievable rock singer. So I'm sure on the Blue Oyster Cult song, you brought you brought the big cowbell. Well, right? Alice's said- drummer, <laughs> Alice's wonderful drummer, he played cowbell and I played drums. And we, there's some great video of that. You know, Glenn Sobel, who's an awesome drummer. You know, and this year we had the Hollywood Vampires there, which is which is Joe Perry and Johnny, Johnny Depp, Depp yeah. and Alice. And so Alice's band will play with Alice and his stuff on that particular show. They're okay. And then we do everybody else. And, and they're great. And then at the Warburton, we play with everybody, and there's no other band there. It's just yeah. us, and all we do is rotate rock singers. You know, there's right, no, right. no other band guys. And so that's always a lot of fun. Well, and, uh, but Six Wire right. 2, back, uh, I mean, you guys were assigned out to Warner Brothers, had, had a hit single, Look at Me Now. We did, I yeah. Mean, we were on Warner Brothers. Back when y'all was young and beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, years and years ago. <laughs> and um, we had a good little run. And then as things would happen with the, with, the, with the label, with Warner Brothers, the regime changes, a new president comes in, new new you know, new department heads come in, and a lot of acts wanted to leave or got let go. And... You know, there's a purging of the uh, of acts, and so we left the label, and we became we just we always stayed a working band, and and we started just we just fell right into working on TV and doing all these different TV shows. Then I mean, literally, it happened it happened right after that. We left the label in '03 or so, and I think in '05 is when we started doing um, a lot of TV stuff. And it's well, been credit that way to y'all since. for keeping that thing together too. That's, that's mm, John Howard, Steve Mandel, yeah. 
Um, yeah, Andy, Andy Childs, Childs, Andy Childs, um, and uh, Steve Hornby. Hornby's, 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 Hornby's the one that always sends me pictures of the of the Warburton stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, and, I mean, they're great well. guys. It's a great band. Um, oh, thank you. you. They, you guys also host a Six Wire and Friends here in Nashville. We do, yeah. In Third Third and Lindsley, our yeah. favorite local music room here in Nashville. We do a monthly thing where Six Wire and Friends, and we basically invite two or three guest artists we do it once a month and uh the guest it's pretty artists interesting in. too because i told chuck the idea of the cash creek club that we're going to be having mm-hmm. and all of a sudden six they're, wine they're friends mentally. came along yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty amazing. well that would have been five years ago <laughs> what, what kind of time travel is that <laughs> it's a testament to how much timing yeah. means everything right right, right, right. right. actually it's it's the reverse i've 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 always been a fan, and I said, "Man, I want to do that with Cash Creek." So, yeah, truth be known, you totally we it stole off. it from Six Wire. We totally ripped it off. We stole it, yeah. but you know what? Those guys, I tell you, Come we. I mean, it's a cool, it's a cool thing because. Literally anybody can show up, but like we've had Tommy Shaw from Sticks come oh, in. Man. You know, we've had Cropper, Felix Cavallari, mm-hmm. uh, of course Chip Eston drops in any given month. You know, the, from the TV show Nashville. Um, Lee Greenwood was in his car one night downtown driving home from dinner and heard about our show came to the venue and just walked on stage we didn't even know he was coming he, he just came just came uh, in and goes hey you care if i sit in We're that's like, so awesome of course we love so awesome you know it, it all happens here this is it nashville oh yeah right. one more time that's third and lindsley yeah third and lindsley bar and grill yeah. in downtown nashville yeah and if they want to sponsor a segment of this podcast Mm. We'd be happy to have them. Six okay. Wire? I I'll think Six Wire should sponsor yeah. us. <laughs> or Ford and Lindsay. No, no, Either yeah, one. Yeah. I'll take up a collection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe we can have a, a benefit for our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Could for be. the benefit of us. For right. our benefit. Yeah. 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 That's right. No. Yeah. It's a benefit for our benefit. <laughs> well, let me tell you what. When, when we come back, you know, Chuck is a master of the percussions, but... Boy, is he a master of the margarita. Renowned. <laughs> I know we teased it last week, but I tell you what, you guys are going to see it happen. This is straight from the halls of the University of Alabama. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Roll time. Roll time. <laughs> Roll time. It's the middle of the day. That's right. Is this called day drinking? <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Oh, we'll see you on the this other side. Perfect. We didn't put on the party shirts for nothing. That's right. We're going in. Oh. Chuck Tilly in the kitchen right Woo. after this. <laughs> It's your friendly neighborhood bass player here to tell you about our Cash Creek Club live show. It's happening August 7th. That's a Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, Music City Bar and Grill. That's down in Music Valley. Look it up. you be there. Yes. What's going to happen? <laughs> well, we day drinking so here. Right? So, well, day drinking in the holler. These guys said they were thirsty, and after a long, hard day slaving over a talk show uh, out there, in there, it's hard work, in the studio, yeah. it's hard work, so they want to get rehydrated. Um, I was just going to make a, a, a simple, short uh, margarita. These are these are the type that we do on the bus, Susie, when we're touring. And So this uh, is where the skill's been refined. Is, is yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Road tested. Yeah. Road so tested nothing, and tried nothing, and nothing complicated, just uh, stuff you can get most anywhere. I didn't bring the really expensive uh, tequila or anything. Uh, this is just a medium priced, really good one um, for mediocre uh, and, show. And a lot of times on, on the road or whatever, you don't have time to go out and get a whole bunch of limes or get all your, your ingredients to make things from scratch. Now, I'm well aware of how to make margaritas from scratch. scratch. This is a great little shortcut. I know there's frozen mixes out there. But um, anyway, what we do is, this is just regular limeade. So you put your limeade in there. And um, these are just little shortcuts, but I'm telling you, they work great. (laughs) They've been successful. They've been road tested by various touring acts. (laughs) And um, what I do is I, I just kind of beef it up with a whole bunch of extra limes. To give it more of that uh, natural lime taste. And do you scoop you can, the lime? Do you squeeze yeah, the lime? Squeeze it, I squeeze juice it. Squeeze I juice it. it. And then sometimes I even put some of the pulp in there. Yeah. You know. It's a little, it's a little, a little texture. Chew on. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. A little chew on. And then, uh, here, I'll let you know that. My hands are slick. And then, um, 
The only measuring involved is uh, <laughs> there isn't really any measuring. <laughs> <laughs> the measuring involved is whatever mood I'm in. Right. 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 So it's how like, much happier do I need to be? Right. It's like, do you want a do you want a, a a West Coast version or you want like an SEC version where there's like a lot of music? <laughs> so. We'll go easy we'll, on you the guys. Best so step up what's, what's the West Coast version? <laughs> West Coast would be about that much. This right. Uh, and oh no, that no, 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 no. I would argue that point. And and, and I did say off camera uh, in the SEC, margaritas aren't. They're not. They're not really our go-to drink down there. You know, the SEC is more of uh, whiskeys and bourbons. You know, and and of course a lot of beer. But um, <laughs> this is just something. It was a very hot day today, and they asked me to make. Uh, a, a little beverage treat, so here we are having one. As so, he rolls up with his top dad. Top dad Tilly. Oh yeah, you know, it's a good day for getting the oh, Look at that. So, oh, look at that technique. Yeah, we're trying, to, trying, to, trying, to, trying to get, I'm trying to add a lot of real lime oh, juice man. in there. And um, of course, always, if you don't want to make it top shelf, as a floater on top, you put a put in, you know, your um, um, Grand Marnier, or Ooh, triple sec, triple orange sec, triple yeah, sec yeah. in here as you're making it. But uh, we're that, going straight. That's kind of a uh, post production, you know, do that after the fact. Kind of thing, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll get in the mix. Some, some people, yeah. <laughs> some people add that as they're making it. I like to do it as a floater on top after you uh, after you pour the drink, but you know, minor detail. Jim's good at floaters. But uh, <laughs> you know, I might say that last I just time. saw some And then a lot of times, oh, look at those just to have a little orange. Just a little you know, pulp in there that you want. You know, a little orange yeah. in there. And that is a trick to a good margarita, is having no, enough citrus. Yeah. You've got to have enough citrus. Right. You know? Right. And and there again, this is, this is you kind of do this to taste. But it was I try to put about a half orange in tequila, there. Mm -hmm. and then If you have enough, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then, after the fact, you can squeeze however much orange you might want on there, you know. Um, and then um, we just add a whole bunch of ice. Oh. You know. and, uh, oh. Start right there. We'll see where we're at. So it might be very loud. So pardon me. Let's see where we're at here. That looks a little, I think I need a little bit more ice. It's a little liquidy to me. Yeah, this is staying still. It's, it's not like riding the bus where you're... You right. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing this you on the bus. Wide stance. Wide stance. Wide stance. Wide stance. Wide stance. Wide stance. It's always this. If you're going down 75 miles an hour, you're doing like this the whole time. So. Shoulder square to the blender. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Technique! It's all about technique. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because there is skill to doing this. Absolutely. When you're, when you're That's why it was so impressive. <laughs> okay, so anyway. All right. So, uh, we'll to cups. Fetch the uh, glasses. Oh. Fetch. I'm going I'm to do a quick sample just to make sure we're in the ballpark. See how, mm -hmm. well, you know, what, what it needs. Because it doesn't, I don't always. It's pretty tasty. You don't always nail it on the first try. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you always nail it on the first try. That's really good. <laughs> now, what I would do, I need to crush the ice a little more because there's still mm -hmm. some, some chunks, chunks of ice. But um, oh wait, now there you go. A little bit more of that. that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that should be pretty good. Okay, and so. That's not so. Uh, there's one. You guys just grab one. And I'm sorry, I'm short one glass. I got my I coffee got, cup. Perfect. This is coffee cup. Uh, my yeah. coffee cup. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, if I had an office job, this is what I'd be at. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Uh, All right. The big taste. Woo! Cheers to Tilly's. Cheers. Cheers. Tilly. Top of the Tilly. 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 Here's the Cash Creek and Woo. much success. Six uh, fire. Cheers. Oh my. Wow. Not just for uh, breakfast anymore. That's really good. Oh that's my. That's pretty tasty. Well man. done. And, um, you know, feel free to add a little more lime on top. What do you add to perfection? Mm -hmm. 
Look at you, that. <laughs> mm. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. Maybe our next guest can make tacos. <laughs> Tilly! Tilly, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Hey. Cheers, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Good man. to be here in oh. Cash Creek world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's, my, that's good. It's, it's a world that's getting better by the second. Yeah. Video time with Monty. What are we showing this week? Let's see. Make your mama proud. Yeah, let's do that one. Here we go. That is so cool. <laughs> It is pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's even better. That's it. Sing it, brother. I don't want to spend a lot of time going to tell you what I know about life. It'll only take a minute. I know you're a beginner, but the way this game is played, you may already be a winner, be a winner. Just by being in it. Wanna be cool, but you gotta be you. Gotta stay true, what you gotta do isn't all that hard. And happiness, oh sweet happiness, <laughs> that's the easy part. You don't need to be an astronaut. What you can take your stand, make your mama proud. Clock is a chicken running around like a chicken with your head cut off, chasing after deadlines. Make a little money, but you're spending every penny being what you're not, and if you don't get caught. You ain't making any headlines You wanna spend time in the sunshine Feeling vibes in the lime And the cooking that the song all day <laughs> If that really floats your boat What would mama say? Oh, tell him, brother She'd say You don't have to be a billionaire That's not what life is all about Just do you Make your mama proud Make your mama proud You gotta be cool, just gotta be you Yeah, yeah, yeah Always like those. Whoa. I I'm uh my apologies mm. for making him so strong. He is the king of the muggers. No, no apologies necessary. You know, <laughs> not to brag, but I did go to an SEC school. Uh, I, do, I do have uh, some oh, skills there. Yeah. That's up flow through your veins, huh? I can see your veins. My my wife is a she's a Mississippi State alum, so I have to hear about this oh. SEC crap all. 
college mm. season long. It's well, terrible. That stupid cowbell ringing in my house. <laughs> <laughs> cowbell ringing. Speaking of cowbell, that little sequence that we did there before we came back with you and Danny. Oh, Danny Serafin. Yes. Yeah. I've got to double drum with him on many occasions. And uh, it's it's great. It, it's always great to meet one of your, one of your, I don't want to say childhood, but you know, when I, when I was younger, <laughs> yeah. one of your drumming idols, you know. Yeah. And he was he was it, and and it still is. And he's a great guy. We, we're 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 good friends. Um, there have been several several occasions at the Warburton and some other shows where we get to double drum, and we'll be doing a lot of classic Chicago songs, and I will double drum on some songs with him and kind of do a drum battle, and then yeah, other songs yeah. I'll play percussion. Right. But uh, he's still just a, a well, great player. I mean, he was the one of the innovators of of the jazz influenced, you know, horn band, rock right, bands in the '60s right. and early '70s. And I mean, one of the uh, to me, Chicago and Blood, Sweat, and Tears were the iconic horn sure. bands of that era who had hits. You know, I right. mean, I know I know there's Tower of Power and there's yeah, plenty of right. other bands, but. Me growing up, that those were my two favorite. Danny was really bands. overlooked too because of the horn aspect. Right, everybody switched to the horns, and then of course when Peter Cetera kind of took over and it became yeah, you know, yeah, the, the, the David and Foster stuff. But Danny, what Danny, some of the intricate drumming on that old stuff that you don't even realize? Oh yeah, is there? You, you, you yeah. know, like yeah. all and the the time changes and all of that. Oh stuff yeah, that some crazy think, stuff. Because yeah. I had to learn that stuff note for note and like know where he's going and to play along with him yeah. and then take it when he want me to take it and then hand it back off to him. And so I had to really learn that stuff left and right. And uh, but he's just a, still a wonderful player. He does. He works with his own band, CTA, uh, um, and does a lot of his own shows with different guest stars. And he'll have Bill uh, Champlin come in oh, and wow. sing. Very and cool. um, he'll have different people come in and sing. But uh, he's got his own band, and he works and stays busy and does golf tournaments and yeah. does a lot of stuff. So that, That's cool stuff, man. I'm going to be yeah. in Chicago, too. So remember... Every week we have our drawing from our subscribers. If you want to get in on this stuff, you got to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that little bell there. Subscribe, subscribe so, uh, to get in the silver mixing bowl. To get the no to get the notifications. And this week we're giving away a copy of Cast Creek Duality. Yay! Twenty four songs. Duality. Yeah. <clears throat> and side project of ours, Magnolia Bell. Peach. I'm just throwing um, them everywhere. Bunch of yeah, it's too much margaritas stuff. for me. Too much for Monty. <laughs> Monty can't handle God, the day he's, drinking. He's going to throw up in that bowl now. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Tilly will be drawing the winner for, oh, I get the draw for, for this week's package. Draw. You get the draw. Pick a name, yep. any name. Just to show it's not rigged. Yeah. Now see if you can okay. read it. Oh my goodness, that is tough. That is tiny. <laughs> it's difficult, <laughs> isn't it? Jim's, okay. Jim's got his, his Night his Wave Radio Station. Yeah. What? The Night oh, wow. Wave Radio Station. Night Wave. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe they'll play these CDs. Maybe. <laughs> Congratulations, Night Wave. Yeah. Night, Night Wave Radio. That would be right. cool. Night Wave Radio. Yeah. All right. So you got to gotta message us on their YouTube, private messages with your address and contacts so we can uh, ship this off to you. And you are now out of the running. He's going to. Uh -oh. mm. It happens. Eat you. See what I happens? I eat the winners. He eats mm. the winners. <laughs> that Mr. Tilly, thank, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Chuck Yay, Tilly. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You enjoyed made, it. Enjoyed. You made the Dramaza Trois everything we dreamed it could be. <laughs> this was our first. <laughs> oh, we will yeah. never forget we'll it. Never be the same. <laughs> Try not to warn your friends in this business about us. You know, oh yeah, we ask, yeah. You know, we're trying to we're trying to lessen anybody off, huh? we can. Thanks for letting me come over and screw up your party. <laughs> <laughs> you are the party. Check it right. out. <laughs>